what you talking about now, Saint? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore seen underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can always always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge of freedom i am and that's, writing is not hard for me like writing is not hard for me i get you know some people say shit like you know and when i start really started paying attention to my skills as a writer i was in um i was in high school and we had to do this remake of a, a scene of one of our favorite scenes from romeo and juliet whatnot so i did a whole remake on the shit and my teacher was like how did you do that like she was like, you made this a modern time, but you did not miss a beat. Everything was on point. Like, I like, what I do. She said, you're a natural writer. You're just a gifted writer. I was like, duh. Like, you know, I knew that about myself. But from there, it's like I learned that, you know, this is what I do. You feel me? Like, when people get writer's blocks, I don't get writer's blocks. I have to tell myself to stop writing. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, you've been writing for fucking hours right now. You know what I mean? Either that or my hand will start hurting. You feel me? And I'll be like, all right. Take a break. But writer's block, it just doesn't happen to me. It's just the way my mind works because I understand, okay, this is this is an effortless thing. So now I can write books. You feel me? I can write books. You know what I'm saying? I can write blogs. I can write, you know, content for for different um different companies and shit like that. I can write ad copies and shit. Little things like that come into it when you say, okay, bam, let me let me see what I can do with this skill. Find out what you're good at and see what you can do with it. Then learn everything about that shit and then incorporate and infuse it. And then be an entrepreneur. Make motherfuckers come to you. You feel me? Write the shit. Write shit so well that motherfuckers come to you. I want you to write something for me. Okay, cool. I used to write for this uh this blog site with one of my um one of my old friends it was about a few years ago. Um, but yeah, I used to write for her site because it was just like yo, what you write is powerful. Like, can you do something like this? Yeah, I did it every month. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was like people were looking forward to that, and I was like, all right, cool. I gotta do my own shit now. I fucks with you, but if this if, if, if they come in to see you for me, I need them to come see me for me. You feel what I'm saying? I need them to come see me for me. So that's when things started to evolve. Things started to 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 transform a lot more into different into different avenues. But it came with me knowing knowing these aspects of myself. Like that's how you get started. You can't just get in and say I want to do something like for what? Now what? You know? I know people that when I first started. They started with their own shit. They started with their things, and it was like, yeah, I want to do X, Y, and Z. They quit now because that wasn't their shit. You know? What do you want to do? I want to do cosmetics. Okay, why you want to do cosmetics, and what you going to do with it? Um, I want to make shea butter. Okay, you want to sell shea butter and shit. Okay, cool. What else? What are you going to do? What, what are you going to do that's different from everybody else? In addition to being you, you got to be, you got to be able to do what's different. You feel what I'm saying? You got to be able to give what's different than what you're presenting. You feel me? Because everybody's going to give this shit. Everybody's going to give this shit. But what's going to make you that elite? What's going to make you that, that person that's going to stand out? What's going to make people say, I fucks with you? You know, that's where your balance has to come in. That's where your balance has to come in. You have to know who you are. You have to know that what you give to people, they know that they can only get it from you. They're going to consistently get it from you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, prior to even, prior to releasing any of my books... You feel me? I didn't. I did nothing, and I, it. This was kind of second nature, but I did it because this is just how I chose to post on Instagram. I did nothing but post words, post like little captions. Like I, like this is my platform now. You feel me? So if I release a book, people buy it. People buy it, not because they. Oh, I know how he writes. I know his writing style. I want to see this, but even that is just the taste of it. That's not even what's really there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes out, it's like, and then when the books actually drop, it's like, damn, this is a classic. Like, you feel me? I try to drop books like albums and shit. You feel me? Like, <laughs> let you know. But it's like, th that was the avenue that I chose to go down. That's what it took for me to become an entrepreneur. Now, there's several other ventures that I do because I understand myself and I'm learning more on how to uncover different things about me, you know, and what needs to be done for myself. But this, this... What you find, where your box is, where your niche is, you set that shit up and you make sure can't nobody fuck with you in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Period. 
You know, period. And make sure you do it well. And don't do it, like I said, just because because at, at, at the end of the day, it's gonna something's gonna be extinguished and people are tired of tired of that. Can you can you move on to something else? This is why I say the entrepreneur is the person who can continue to self improve themselves because it's like when the medium changes, do you change with it or do you say no? I'm gonna keep fighting. It's like on the episode of the Boondocks where uh, Thug Nificent went broke, he was like um, his album sales was about to drop and he started doing auto tune. He started doing all this. He did the shit that wasn't his lane, but he tried to do it in the in the, in the vein of what was popping. You feel me? And then it eventually flopped him. You feel what I'm saying? And a lot of times that's what happens when you don't understand the vein of what's going on then you think you have to stay there.